Hi everybody, it's Diane and I'm working on my new uh, set, it's just two, set, two journals that I'm making for a design team project for Artsology and I'm using, oh I forgot the name of it, it's Phoebe Ann or something Ann, I don't think it's Phoebe, anyway it's, I think it's one of her newer digital kits and it's a journal kit, I don't have any of the pages over here, these are all the other pages. And I'm just going to play today, um, hopefully successfully. And I thought I would turn the camera on and we can play together. I'm just going to do some little collage type of things on some of these pages. I have coffee dyed scrapbooking paper and some avocado dyed paper that I got from Etsy and some coffee dyed paper. So what I brought over here, while I'm at my mixed media table, I guess I would call it, my coloring table, and I have some paper doilies, a couple of stencils, some napkins, and an assortment of stamps. Hopefully I have what I need over here to do what I think I want to do. We'll see how I end up. I also have some Mod Podge here. So I'm going to pour some Mod Podge in a little container like I usually do. I find myself a little sponge brush. I don't need a big one for this. pour some Mod Podge out and do I have some water in here? I should. Yeah, I have this little bottle here. I just put a little bit of water in my Mod Podge to thin it out, especially when I'm using it with napkins. You don't need a lot. You don't need it to be thick when you're using it with napkins and even paper doilies. And it helps the Mod Podge last a little bit longer. You could see I didn't put much water in there. So now, let's just start playing. I want to do something on the inside of this page here, I think. I have all these collage type of stamps, and I don't take the time to play with them, so that's what I want to do. This is from uh, Carta... Carabella Studio. I'm going to use my stays on inks so that the Mod Podge doesn't smear them. And this is the brown, timber brown. Just a hint. And I did some on that page too. Can you see? Okay, what's the next step? I don't know. Let's do a little Mod Podge. Got this pretty napkin. It's one of those that's folded up like a tissue. Get both layers off. It's a three-ply napkin. You have to take off both of the extra layers so that you're just left with the top layer with the design on it. You see this part here with the butterfly and the bird and the flowers? Let's go for that. It might be too big. I might have to eliminate one of those elements. And actually, because of the way this... Yeah, I'm going to eliminate the butterfly. The way this image is oriented, I'm going to put it... Oh, I tore the bird's face. Don't do that. 
Well, I'll do this one. I was going to put it down in this corner because it was oriented the other way, but now I'm using this one. I actually think I'll put the butterfly up in this corner. And I'll use the bird elsewhere. Put a little piece of doily behind the butterfly. Why am I opening the Mod Podge? I already poured it out. here. I think I'll just take one of my stamps and stamp something. This is a Stazon also, and it's Claret, a burgundy color. Butterfly from the same set. I think this is a set I just found at Michael's and I don't know the name of it because I don't have the information in that little pack there. I'm just going to stamp a little butterfly up here. I will set this aside so the Mod Patch can dry. Let's do something similar. Let me see what page. It doesn't really matter. Let's do something similar because I'm doing two books. So I want them to be... Makes it easier for me if they're kind of the same. This is pretty dark. Oops, I forgot the doily. I want a piece of doily.
so it's not similar, it's the same. I like that deep, rich color. I got the coffee dyed paper from an Etsy seller also. Let's do something on a scrapbook paper. this stamp. I use my black this time. So this napkin has some pink flowers, but it also has this neutral stuff. Let's go for some of that this time. I want to be able to make sure I see the stamp. I don't want any straight edges. Hopefully I'll be able to see the stamp through the, through that napkin. It'll be sheer once I put the Mod Podge down. Let's try it. You can see it. I think it, you'll be able to see it more once it's dry. I'm going to take some of the script and put it down here. I will make sure I leave room for journaling. I'm not going to do this on every page, and there are a lot of pages for journaling on in this journal, so we're good. I extended it beyond the fold so part of it will be on the next page, on the other side of the page. Add in just a little element of texture and layer by putting a little piece of doily there. I have this coffee dyed doily too. It 
which could be fun. So I love a layered look. That's what I'm going for here. I may do some stenciling once this is dry, but this is what we have so far. So of course we have to do that again. I didn't peel the layers off of this napkin. Hopefully that's going to be okay. What I already did. Looked like there was one layer left on it. Because I had used a part of this napkin before. Maybe the other parts were already peeled. Looks like they were. There's the second page of those. Now, I want to do something with some stenciling. I brought stencils over here. So, I'll do one of the pink pages. And I am going to use Distress Ink. photo. I don't know where it is. I should have one in distress oxide. Oh, there's that one. The distress oxide one. Oh, there it is. <coughs> I'm 
sitting on my table already. There's already some spots on this paper, so this is going to be subtle. Let's add some of the roses. a little bit of pink napkin and some of that pretty doily. This kit has so much ephemera in it that I printed the pages twice so that I could make two journals and hopefully use up most of the ephemera. So I don't need to make a lot of ephemera. But I would like to decorate the pages. I want to have some of my own personal touches in here. The ink does smear because it's not archival ink, but I'm being careful and not spreading it out too far. And you can't even see the smearing because the napkins and doilies are covering that up. chair squeaking. It's annoying, isn't it? Okay, got to do another pink page. So today is Tuesday. You'll be seeing this video on Wednesday, I believe. And hopefully this is going to be a longer one than the previous two. I can have a bit of a longer session today, which is awesome. I'm just going to do some stenciling on this side without collaging. Because I like this rose on this pink paper. Anyway, so Sunday was a really busy day for me. I taught my ladies Bible study in the morning and then played the piano for the church service. And then my kids came over for lunch and it was one of my favorite meals, um, something my mother used to make and some people think it's odd, but it's a country meal. I grew up in the country, so I think it's a country meal. And that is, um, waffles, homemade waffles with chicken gravy on them. You break up the chicken, leftover chicken. In this case it was turkey. I'd made a turkey breast and then I saved the leftover gravy and 
turkey. I broke the turkey up into the gravy and then we pour it on waffles. And my family loves it except for the, the grandkids don't. They just eat their waffles with syrup. And my daughter doesn't care for it. My husband didn't like it. My son and his wife love it. And I love it. So anyway, that's what we had for lunch. There was no need for me to go into all of that. <laughs> Fond memories of a great lunch. Um, I'm just going to stick this doily over here. And then I had to go to the local theater at 4 o'clock where I was meeting my parents and one of my friends to go see a piano and cello concert. So that was fun and something very different. And then after that, I was back at church because we have an evening service and I was the pianist for the day, so I was back there. And then finally I was done for the day. So it was a busy day. Okay, now what? I've got three pages for each book. that are decorated, but I have three signatures in each book. I think I want more than one page in each signature to be decorated. I'm only going to have one of the pink pages and one of the coffee dyed pages in each book, in each signature. So I don't need to decorate every single one of them. Maybe I'll just, I mean like Mod Podge and stuff, so maybe I'll just stamp something on, on these while I'm over here at my stamp table. I've got this pretty stamp that I haven't used yet from Blue Fern Studios. And yesterday I went down to the flea market. Um, it had rained. This one is called Accidental Collage. It had rained and it wasn't raining at the time when I went down. So there were some vendors there, but I didn't buy a single thing. I didn't see the blue van man there. He wasn't there. And the only thing that I even considered was an old photo album with some really neat old photos in it. I loved the photos. They were like portraits, like studio portraits. Very old. The photo album was completely falling apart. And he wanted $25 for the whole thing which probably was a good price, but it was more than I wanted to pay, so I didn't get it. So I came home empty-handed. Went to work for three hours. And then of course I'm always busy at home. Always busy when I'm here doing something. I don't want this whole thing taking up space, so I'm just going to, I'm going to stamp it in the center so it will be on both sides of the page. Well, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? It's the first time I've used this stamp could hear how sticky it was on that page. My phone's ringing. But I can't tell who it is. Okay, that works better, but I'm not I'm not going to do it there. I'm just going to let that be a subtle image right there, I guess. It is probably uh, one of those telemarketer type of calls. I, uh, I get them every day about this time of day. This is a Stampin' Up! set that I just got from my Stampin' Up! party and I liked this element and this. And it goes with um, some dies that I bought and paper. It was a whole suite of items. 
it went together. So obviously I haven't used it yet. So we're stamping up these cling stamps. Um, and peel that part off of the label, the backing, and then peel the backing off of this. And then line it up on there. And you have your, and it is, boy, that's sticky. I've had a problem in the past with stamping up cling stamps not clinging to the blocks, and they said that they had corrected the problem. So I can tell that they have, because that actually felt sticky. You can see there's a bit of a floral border in there with some texture. trying to peel the backing off of this. Well, if I would do it on the right side, <laughs> it might work. Oh, Diane. So it just gives a little bit of depth and texture to the page, and you can still write on it. I'm going to have to try that big Blue Fern Studio stamp, though. Well, I'll try it on the second page that I'm going to do for the other journal. Hopefully it'll work. This evening I have to go to my son's house to stay with Layla, get her put to bed, and they won't be home till about 9.30. I don't like doing that. I like to be home in the evening. I'm an old fuddy-duddy. sticky. It's so sticky that it just tore the paper. I'm not happy about that, but it's a beautiful stamp. I don't know why it's like that. It's a good thing it's a junk journal. I just my podge a bit of doily there. this. I've got it poured out already. My son and his wife are looking into um, fostering children and possibly adopting. So they have to go to training. They have 10 sessions and they're on Tuesday evenings. So I'm going to watch Layla while they go to this session. It's their second session. But I'm not doing all ten of them. Other people are. The other grandma did it last week and I think she's doing it next week. I don't know. But anyway, I'll probably have to do quite a few of them. And I usually don't have to, I shouldn't say it that way, have to, but you know, I love Layla. 
but I, I don't usually watch her um, during the school year because they don't they're, with their work schedules they don't need a babysitter during the school year usually so I thought once her school started I'd be babysitting less but now they have 10 of these sessions to do do I need something up here probably Maybe just a word. Dare to spread your wings. page. need to put a word on this one too. It's about time for me to clean the ink off my blocks, don't you think? Oh, these things that don't stick. At least the Stampin' Up! ones are sticking now. I do really like that stamp though. Just work with with I wish it worked better. Well, I didn't know that was gonna be such a tongue twister. Okay, I'm gonna do some stamping on another coffee dyed paper. stamp this medallion in a light ink, like um, Sahara Sand. Yeah, I've got Sahara Sand here. super light it shows up. Let's do this one too uh, while we have it all out and inked and on the block. darker than I thought it would. So I'm trying to figure out what color I want to use for the butterfly so it will still stand out. Let's try Tangelo Twist. This one is 
those light looking. That one went off the page a little more than I wanted it to. It's okay. I like this light lagoon color. Got a lot of ink on the block there. And now we'll just give it a little more depth with some stenciling. See how much that adds? the pink pages. This one has this nice outline stamp. This is one of the old Stampin' Up! ones that probably won't stick to the block. not in your face. I usually don't stamp the pages till after I've done a lot more decorating and then I see uh, if there's empty spaces that need a stamp. But I figured I would just decorate pages today. This is a collage stamp from Blue Fern Studios, and I have used this one, and it works very well. Um, this set, I don't know the name of it. Sorry. Mm. Nope, I don't have the name of it anymore.
looking for my long thin block. I put it away. Who ever heard of such a thing? Putting your stamps, your blocks away. That didn't work at all. They don't stamp very dark. Some of the Tim Holtz, the older Tim Holtz stamps are like this. They're sticky. And then they don't stamp very dark as they get older. Maybe it's because of my stays on ink. I don't know. Like it eats into them if I don't clean them off. I don't know. But I mean, the other one that I used, I hadn't ever used before. The big one. Very good advertisement for Blue Fern Studio stamps today, am I? That one's better. I've got green ink on my hand. That might be what transferred onto this. So I'll, pu I'll put something there when I embellish the pages. Okay, so I'm going to do another of the scrapbook papers. I probably need to like Mod Podge on six scrapbook papers so I can have three. Um, what am I saying? One in each signature. So I've already done two. So I need to do four more. But I'm not going to do them all on this video because I'm close to an hour here. This is not the one I wanted when I went to pull out stencils. I know I didn't want Argyle. I left one in there that I wanted must be. This one is Carabelle Studios again. I need a new stays on ink pad. Maybe that would help. I brought this napkin because the flowers match some of the flowers in the papers that I chose. I don't, I don't even know if this one has any layers. Yep, oh, there's one. Fell right off. A 
love this napkin. I think somebody sent this to me. Yeah, I'm sure they did because I know I didn't buy it. I've never seen them anywhere. These flower shaped napkins. You don't have to worry about straight edges on them. I'm going to Mod Podge some over here and then I'll try stenciling after the Mod Podge dries. Even a cute little bee on that napkin. by B. Just tore him right off. It was only a part of him left there, so that's okay. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. I've done quite a few pages. I'm going to continue after I turn the camera off to get these pages done so that I can actually start putting the book together. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.